At the end of season three, it was decided Gabrielle would die. Her evil daughter, Hope, was in a life and death struggle with Xena. Gabrielle leaped to the rescue and plunged into a lava pit with her arms around her daughter to save Xena's life. A family affair was the episode in the beginning of season four where Xena and Gabrielle would be reunited. Joining me to talk about the episode are Liz Friedman and Chris Mannheim, the writers, and <laughs> Renee O'Connor. <laughs> Why did you decide to tell this story wrapped up in a horror movie? Well, that I think came from two sort of central images. One was that initially I just had this thought of Xena walking in and seeing Gabrielle after she'd been missing all this time, surrounded by her family, and realizing it wasn't Gabrielle, it was Hope. And that she's sitting there with Gabrielle's family, who are going to fight tooth and nail to protect basically the, the homicidal maniac that's sitting in the middle of them. And her and family were a horror story right there. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That, was a great, that was a great father. Yeah. He deserved to die anyway. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then, paired up with the fact that then we, when we put Hope and Ares together at the end of the previous season and came up with this notion of the Destroyer, and that of course uh, Hope's child would sort of take all the monstrousness that was inside Hope but in this sweet package and make it all external and have a really big, prickly, kick-ass monster. <laughs> and that screamed horror tale. That's right. <laughs> well, that, and you know what I think too? We did musicals, yes. we did turgid drama, we did Greek tragedy. We'd yeah. never done a horror. Yeah. And this and was a perfect opportunity. And the that. irony was that, I mean, I got my, you know, the reason I wanted to come and work with Sam and Rob in the first place was because they made horror films. Mm -hmm. I wrote my college thesis on horror films. You know, I've always been obsessed with them. So then a chance to, like, make a little one was just fantastic. There seemed to be a couple of storylines going on here. Uh, Zena was hunting for Gabrielle, and at the end of the episode, Gabrielle seemed a bit lost. What was the story that you were telling? In a No, I think Gabrielle was lost at the end of the episode. Well, come on, she just killed her daughter, her grandchild, <laughs> the monster that he was. Right. Um, she was kind of lost in the beginning, too. Don't you think when we first see her, she's sort of thrown, you know, for a loop. Right. Having right. come out of the, the lava, lava pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, she's basically died and been reborn, and I think sort of then yeah. figured out, well, wait a minute, what am I doing besides following Xena? Yeah, right. What is um, my life about? So I think, in a way, it ended up being a very realistic way to kind of start her on that journey. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you get a second chance at life, you start to think, okay, what, what do I need to What's change? What's significant about my life besides, right. 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 right, and that second chance starting off with all that killing, you know. It's right. Like, Whoa, yeah. Yeah. I came back for this. And she <laughs> should have realized that because she was on a very successful syndicated series, <laughs> <laughs> what more do you need back. with your life? <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> meaningful <laughs> unto itself. <laughs> well, I, I, I have a question about the horror thing. Yeah. Well, because there's so many gags that are really scary. You know, like you've got the, the pounding in the house and everyone looking around. Right. Did you know how to put them in? I mean, did you know where they belonged in the in the script or like when you needed something scary to happen? Right. Yeah. I, I you have to say that yeah. I think yeah. so, and also a bunch of that stuff, you know, as most horror is, was Doug Leffler, the director, saying you know, here's what I want to do to, you know, in a lot of those scenes, he had a notion and said, here's how I want to play the scare. Right. And, yeah. and there are just some, there's some classic horror things, you know, which is you put your attention over here, bam, 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 right. pause, pause, and then the thing's got to pop up over here. That's yeah. what happened in the beginning, you know, the, with the, um, yeah, the, the, what was it, hanging, in the, hanging, and then it actually came up behind him? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, the, was a, a, probably the a, a carcass hook. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Remember, he heard something, and he turns around, and you think, uh, and then the dog leaps out. And yes, there's there's dog. Dog. Right. 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 right, and when he's looking this way, you see soft focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, that is, that was all dark. Yeah, I mean, and, it, uh, you know, and it sets the tone. I mean, yeah. still, but you must describe what you It want. was. It was written in the script, Liz. Trust me. Was it? Yes, it was. Well, yes, go. it was. All right, what do I have? <laughs> Director Schmecker. <laughs> now he realized our vision. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. It's like you count off five, four, three, two, one minutes. Okay, 
time for a scare. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, time right. for a scare. That's right. That's the pacing no, of the scare. It, it, I think the pace is just an internal thing. I yeah. think you develop a sense of, of things need to pick up, pick up, right. pick right. up. You keep, keep up the pace right. of this creature. Uh -huh. right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. and you can't, you know, it's, uh, horror is about tension and anticipation, and you can't, after you do that, then you have to give the audience a period of release. A breather uh, To there. sort of, yeah. you know, regenerate <laughs> from it, and then, you, okay. Then you remind them. Right, <laughs> now we can bring <laughs> it back. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, Six foot spindly yeah. creature. <laughs> I like the fact the monster was attacking the house, and then the sun comes out and the monster goes away. Well, sure. What would you do? <laughs> you needed a way to get rid of them. <laughs> you resurrected. <laughs> but the you horror were tipped off to that with the uh, light when Xena held up that torchy thing or whatever it was in there, and the monster goes like this. It's kind of hey, so doesn't like light. <laughs> we earned that. Yes, yes, we did. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something else that I wonder if Doug caught. So Zena takes that lantern and shines it on the thing in the barn, and then she tosses the lantern in a barn full of hay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it should have burned down. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. Yet oh, another Xena inconsistency. <laughs> <laughs> Someone caught it in the back. Yeah, oh. yeah exactly. Stunty, stunty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to throw it into a puddle of water. I don't know how you missed right. that, Sharon. <laughs> Cow trough. <laughs> That's right. Water <laughs> trough. Should have been. Yeah. Um, Renee playing Hope, playing Gabrielle. Uh, we're going to watch a bit of a scene here. And uh, to me, I could always spot in the still photos which character you were at the time. Uh, so let's take a little clip, a look at Renee Still playing focus. Hope playing <laughs> Gabrielle. If you never got my messages, then how did you know I was alive? It's hard to describe. But I saw you. Not now. It's someplace in the future. The future? Don't tell me you've become an oracle. Not a very good one. Okay. I got a definite it's, sense of danger you look around like you. you hate her. Yeah. It it's amazing. Thing. It's I it's, never it's just little trickles right. of it. Oh, there is danger here. Oh. Yeah, real. What I was uh, I you remember um, take a look at this. that it's like um hope it is is a really bad actor. Like she's playing Gabrielle. I mean, m meaning like she's very trying to be very, very sweet. Right. And really kind of kind of what she thinks Gabrielle would, would be like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then um, but underneath it all is the real hate for Zena yeah. because she tried to kill her. Right. right. She's the one that set up the whole death. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I remember and just sort of the watchfulness. That's a good word of looking for. Um, how to respond in the situation, you know, how to be like a chameleon and relate to what she needed to do to survive the situation. Right. So how would she be like Gabrielle or would she be more like Hope, which is just like a witch, you know, to me. Right. And what are you, what's your thought process? Like when you're playing that scene, <laughs> no, because I'm totally, you know, it's like, I don't know, I know what I like to do. I know, I know what I do when I write that. But I, I mean, my thought process is yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, I, I, um, it's weird. It's like almost being outside the body, more like watching mm -hmm. Zena uh -huh. and really trying to figure out how to trick Zena. Right. As opposed to Gabrielle, you're just, you know, hanging out with Lucy and you're just right. playing, you know, but, um, or just responding. But, um, but this was actually trying to watch Zena and figure her out. So that was sort of how I played it. It was more of a watchfulness and detachment. Uh -huh. And then, um, and just really kind of cutting off the love. There's no love. She's a, and trying to look at it as someone is, who's trying to kill her and right. her child mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So really looking at it as this woman's the threat and I have to destroy this woman. Right. And that's how I was trying to do it. But yet layering it as Gabrielle, which yeah, is why right. the bad acting of, oh, I'm mm -hmm. going to be so sweet. Right. Mm -hmm. And then my high-pitched voice, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought the tip-off was the big kiss to Joxer. Right away. Oh, right. 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 I couldn't be Gabrielle. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it was like, yeah, 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 get opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. 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 No, no. This yeah. big yeah. Yeah. guy comes and gives you a great big hug, and I get, just see uh, Hope did. going, I who remember. is that? <laughs> Who's well, this big lumpy guy coming in and giving me a big great. hug? Well, yeah. Hope had dealt with Jocks yeah, before, yeah. right? She had, he, yeah. she had to have because yes. she did. Oh. She says, Jocks are. Yes. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. not big kiss. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the, she kissed the, Aries before. Mm -hmm. I just, right. yeah, I, I got yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. tie in, you know. 
the subtext notes were really big on that was the tip off. Are <laughs> <laughs> they? Couldn't be Gabrielle. So funny. You put that in. Did you add the Joxa character? Uh, with Liz, I think. No. Uh, we, Joxa was always in it. Yeah, he was always there. Because it came from the notion that Gabrielle's parents would think Joxa was just the greatest yeah, guy. Yeah, oh. and Willa, too, would have but this big time. <gasps> Yeah, he is jocks are the mighty. Uh, jocks are the <laughs> That's good. And then he has sort of a Martha Stewart type sensibility <laughs> that you don't really. You know, that's that's cook. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I think that was a little lost uh, uh, yeah. as the film progressed, yeah. but uh, it was definitely meant to be in there. <laughs> you sent him off to count sheep. We never saw him again. Yeah. <laughs> Poor jocks are. You know what's funny? In the, in the DVDs, Doug Luffler talks about uh, asking you to play Hope when she's Gabrielle, just as Gabrielle, and yet you added another layer on top of it. Oh, here, because I know we saying. needed to trick the audience. Right. Well, there is sort of a moment there that is, to me, a little true Gabrielle. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I can Very hear my voice beginning. normal. Mm -hmm. But um, but then, yeah, luckily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to yes. Well, you know, it's really <laughs> funny, because I've seen that episode many times before, and I guess because I was sort of looking at bigger things, I've never specifically noticed, like, all of a sudden, I looked at that. And went, oh God, you hate her! <laughs> like mm -hmm. you know, like not yeah. listening to the words and just looking at your eyes. Yeah. And I really got it. Well, it's so interesting. Throughout the entire episode, I see now how much she just wants to play with Cena and just destroy yeah. her because she's so tormented by her and how her mother loves her more than yeah, Zena more than her right, the daughter. Right. You know, yeah. and so angry and so wow. I know I was watching it yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and going. She's really playing with her, really, really playing, and yeah, you're right, the hatred. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's relishing the thought of Xena's yeah, demise at the hand of her and child. And you can see it in the beginning, you're right. Yeah. But there's I no threat. Xena isn't a threat. No. And that's the thing is that, in a, I mean, obviously it's within the cloak of a horror, uh, <coughs> you know, convention, but this is just a family melodrama. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, you know, yes. you killed my, you know, my baby yeah. and my, and I mean, and yeah. you tried to kill me and now I'm surrounded by this family. And I mean, that's, without that emotional underpinning, it doesn't matter how good your fights are or, you know, how cool your monster is. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That hate just pours out of your eyes. <laughs> yeah. You're very good at malevolent eyes. <laughs> well, there's a, what it, I, <laughs> I really like, there's a nice stillness about it. You know, there's not a lot of, a lot of mm. yeah. Yeah. there's just this real stillness. Well, I think I was fortunate to, this is the second time as Hope, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I had a little more time to sort of sink into her and mm -hmm. you're right, not try so hard. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and you're and really... And for her to be, you said, to be still and cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, Renee, I think we might as well come clean. You're a nasty, hateful person. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this whole nice... Now it can be told. This whole the nice, truth. thing. <laughs> oh, and I think of her as Carrie, like right? Not the tables are levitating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That sweet face hides so much. <laughs> Zena meets Gabrielle's family. We're going to take a peek at Zena meeting Gabrielle's family. Not at all pleased. Daddy is just. What a nice young man. So fit to be tied. You know, when you bring your girlfriend home, <laughs> <laughs> that often happens. I think she wears leather. She's not coat. even one of those. And a sword. Yeah, she's That's not. Nice. She's not a lipstick lesbian even. How's sure. she been? Without you. <laughs> Just fine. Where's his accent from? I know where it's from. I meant after everything she's been through. You should know. Seducing her away from home with your heroics. Filling her head with strange ideas. Where's she been? Changed forever. Because of you. Oh. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> 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 he struck an arrow into Zena's heart. Yeah. yeah, what is the problem? What is this problem? <laughs> That's not the life they had envisioned for their daughter. Right. You know, she was supposed to marry Perdiccas, was it? Yeah, Have Perdicus. a little farm, right. Right. hang around Count the, the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And she instead she runs off in the dead of night. I mean, yeah. you, you basically just ran away from your family. I guess she didn't write home either. Too much, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a bard, that's disturbing. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. telling. You know, you never did have them visit the parents again, her parents. This was it, I think. I think so. Yeah, visited Lily once in Prodigal. You wrote your first episode. The was Prodigal. The Prodigal. Yes, yeah. and, but, but nobody never right appeared. No. It was really? Just, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. This was the first and last time to meet the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Actually, it wasn't the original <laughs> episode. <laughs> they, they, they were in that. In which? In the very first scene. And the parents were oh, in that. Oh, in the, of the pilot. Mm -hmm. Of the pilot. Oh, yeah, they were yes. new. I don't know. We yeah. switched Perticuses, too. So yes, you know. we did. Switched fathers, too. I think he was taller and broader as well. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 And hairy. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, because I think he was in about, well, he was in a scene, and I'm not sure he spoke in that no. first one. So, <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, I think this is really, a, that scene to me is a great metaphor about, you know, your daughter goes off and comes back and she's got these new relationships. And right. They just can't, you know, in their minds, their daughter, you know, their daughter's been ruined. Mm -hmm. um, Taken from the bosom of her family. Yeah. 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 It was a nice set up, set the relationship like, like that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah, and, th and then you have this interesting dynamic of, Zena's trying to protect these people who view her as nothing. You right. know, as the enemy, but basically. Enemy. Yeah. yeah. Something that crawled cool. in the door with a leather jacket and they want out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> cool. That's instead, of looking that. At, instead of looking upon it as all the... You, you could have come home with all these bubbling stories. Of course, the irony of it is, the person that came home was Hope. Right. Right. He was playing the perfect, you know what I mean? The yeah. perfect child, mm -hmm. right. so to speak. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Without Zena, right? Right. That's <laughs> right. right. <laughs> what happened? How weird. They were tipped off. Something was weird. Yeah. yeah they. Yeah. How come Zena caught on and the parents didn't? Well, because I think they were so grateful to have her home. Oh. You know, yeah. I really do. And and being right. such a good daughter, it was like. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, wow. she was like she survived this. Couldn't be yeah. business with Zena and come home to us. Plus, I think that Zena knows Gabrielle better than her parents do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I think that they had this idealized version and, you know, because they thought their daughter would be happy going off and marrying Perticus. Right. Which, you know, even when you meet her in the pilot, you go, well, that's clearly not the case. So, you know, I think there was, there's a disconnect there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she would have been like Lilla, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, that's what they expected. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's because that's what they wanted right. that allowed hope the easiness to trick them. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted yeah. to believe that was their daughter. Absolutely. Right. You know, that good right. Girl. right. I right. never thought of that. Right. Well, I never did. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying, I was saying, you know what? And I mean, I think, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> My parents said goodbye to me. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> right if you get work. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, and I think, you know, I think that's part of the reason why Zena didn't get it right away. You know, that's why we always talked about it, that it does take her mm -hmm. until, you know, the the fight with the monster in yeah. the barn. Yeah. You know, to that, know for sure. To know for sure. For sure. I think yeah. even in that moment where she first sees her and there's this business across the distance, it's like, because it's a totally different moment when she sees the real Gabrielle. Yes. Yeah. And Lucy plays it like that. You can mm -hmm. see she's a little mm -hmm. thrown, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Am I hallucinating one? maybe? Because she'd been hallucinating Gabrielle visions of her. So maybe this was another one, yeah. True. Oh. Just <laughs> but the chemistry wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. exactly. She doesn't react the same way, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, because you could say maybe Gabrielle was in shock. That's why she didn't come running to her. But you're right, there was no melting into each other, which is something they Not usually really. do because the connection is there. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. 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 Speaking of that barn fight, mm -hmm. right? Zena's fighting this monster in a barn, an anonymous monster in a barn. And then she comes in and tells Joxer that's Dayhawk's grandson. That means Gabriella's Hope. But the last she saw, they, you know, <laughs> Hope was down a lava pit. How could she possibly know Hope was back? Who else could she be, though? She's not Gabrielle. Had to be Hope. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Process of elimination, <laughs> I think they call that. <laughs> Way too simple. Boy, does that blow that question. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought. And Dayhawk, yeah. Had mm -hmm. to be Dayhawk's child, right? Right. Had to be. Right. Because if that was hope, then it's too coincidental that there happens to be this monster this yeah. 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 And what she notices is that, you in know, the there fight. in the fight, there was an opportunity where the monster could have gotten. There were several Gabriel. opportunities. Yeah. That's what she yes. tells Jock. It wasn't just once. The monster blew yeah. past her a right. couple of mm -hmm. times. And, and Gabrielle didn't intervene. That's Gabrielle right. Gabrielle didn't help her friend. She yeah. just watches, which yeah. is so unusual. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and even before she knew how to help, she was always pitching in. She right. would have gotten. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Away, she but like she would have. room, right? Or whatever. A rock or. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Was, she would have gone to yeah, the aid of absolutely. Zena if yeah. she were Gabrielle. It, it was those spiny things. You weren't about to jump on the back of those spiny things. <laughs> <laughs> she was off of the feet, you know? <laughs> 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 Get them in the shin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? How Be tall creative. was that guy when he was in the suit? Six something. Six five, maybe? Wow. And then the head was above that. So. 
He was pretty tall. Yeah. You're right. It would have been the knees for you. Bite <laughs> 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 him in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've discussed. You know, we've got to pace out the um, the horror bits. Right. We have to pace out the Jeopardy bits. And it was only on rewatching that I noticed this little Jeopardy bit that I kind of like. It doesn't look safe. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> Telekinetic moment. I love that. I love that spin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. You. I know. He's gonna go. Curse you. I'll leave you hanging. <laughs> An extra moment. Unless you can't do it forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Commer- I think it goes to commercial. <laughs> I was going to say, well, they call it a cliffhanger for a reason. Uh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put those, you have to space those out. But yeah. how do you pick, I, I made mean, a note, you know, is there a book of Jeopardy moments that you can go flip through? Okay, Paige, <laughs> there's the moment we want right there. Ah, oh, she's <laughs> discovered our secret. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have to kill you now. Page number oh. 233, the bridge <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> No, I think it's <laughs> it's dictated by the locale, right? I mean. And what and what we couldn't produce, but you know, certainly we did the uh, we did the bridge falling, we did the off the cliff, <laughs> we did what were some of the other classics? <laughs> I would love to have heard you in the session. Oh, yeah. Would you do it like that? Well, we've done that and that. And oh, that. all the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there'd be like, yeah. well, uh, you know, rock slide. Uh, <laughs> done that many times. Don't go to that one. Well. Well, <laughs> that's 17 on Xena. We're, you know, oh. Hercules, we're working that right now. We can't, you know. Oh, right. Go, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And when you're outdoors, especially, you're kind of limited at <laughs> right. what you can do. Oh, sinkhole. You know, I mean. Right. Did we right. ever do quicksand? Uh, yes. Yes. Do. Oh, right. Remember? That's right. Yeah. Nice. Uh, in quicksand, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's cool. <laughs> a cave collapse. Lots of those. Yeah. Lots Gotta do a lot of those. Caves. Uh, <laughs> caves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we did the lava pit. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, I don't think there was any Jeopardy left unturned. <laughs> no. I think we did it all. Avalanche? Yes. Oh, when really? you guys were in there in the... Uh, Frozen, you know, Aries had taken you. Oh, my God. Avalanche closed off that cave. hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we covered it all, I swear. If if there was some Jeopardy that we didn't do, I'd be really mad. (laughs) (laughs) We've got to start filming again. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Right, yep. Yeah. Hurricane? No wind or rain. Which is amazing Uh, for New Zealand. um, Going into the vortex. It wasn't a hurricane. Okay. Yeah, it was, we were doing enough. the hurricane acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were tornadoes. There were tornadoes. There were tornadoes. Yeah. We did tornadoes, yeah. did tornadoes yeah. when they were tornadoes. The baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tornado. Yeah, tornadoes came after you all. It was when the three <laughs> wise men <laughs> came. Like on. This. <laughs> eternal bonds. You're all, yeah. yeah, eternal bonds. That was oh, pregnant. Yes. And the three wise men appear. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, right. That's right. There were tornadoes. Yeah. Special effects. You didn't see that. They weren't there at the time, the tornadoes. Right. Uh, brought those I, I in think later. We basically covered every right. natural disaster <laughs> yeah. known to man. Right. <laughs> now we get our introduction to the destroyer. Did, what did you did you call, I don't know, did you have any pet nicknames for him? Did you have any pet nicknames for Spike? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Porcupine of Death. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a look at him. <laughs> I do too. Are you kind? So romantic. Did she hurt you? Let mothers. Yes. (laughs) Now stop it. Oh, did you see the lip (laughs) little (laughs) circle? Stop it. Oh, poor thing. I know. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just, I want to know how each of you sees the relationship between Hope and the Destroyer. Why don't we start with Chris? You know, I don't think Hope loved the Destroyer. I think she loved what the Destroyer was going to do, but I think it was beyond Hope to love anything. 
if she if she loved anybody, it was her mother until she realized her mother wasn't returning the love. I I just think it was beyond her to love at that point. She had a mission, and this creature was going to go through that mission, but she didn't love. It, it's sad to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this was a, a, a face only a mother could love, but not hope. Right. Hope didn't have it in her to love. That's my I, I think you're right. I think um, that she loved Gabrielle the most. But yeah. I think she loved it, but not in the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but you're right. Maybe that's how you described it well, which, what he could do. But the way I played it is, of course, she loved him, but not in the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It she loved for Gabrielle. Right, right. Yeah. right. 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 Yeah, and the right. love she had for her mother had turned to hate. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it was still that yearning, you're wanting to love, which I think is sort of there, but but it was never going to happen, mm -hmm. which is then why she's projecting all of the Xena, you know? Right, right. And I w the reason we designed, you know, the creature the way we did is that I was always struck by the great irony of, you know, a, a child who couldn't be embraced, who literally <laughs> physically, you know, without, um, you know, without hurting his yeah. mom. Very Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Right, you know? right, mm -hmm. which then sort of sets up, you know, what happens at the very end. And that just, you know, sort of struck, is, is such a tragic chord, because he's, the Destroyer's not a bad, no, not a bad no, guy. No, no, no. He wants, he wants <laughs> exactly what Hope wanted exactly. from Gabrielle, a mother's love. Well, right. Exactly. Yeah. And you're right, and she just saw him as uh, a vessel. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. A way to And you see that, too, in the end. He, um, like, she basically tells him what he has to do. Right. You know. Yeah. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that seemed like such a typical mother moment when he tried to hug and you go, N and she, I forget the line she made, but something, you know, no, you know, right. get away or get back or she just stop it. I think. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just heard it, but, um, yeah, but I remember stop. Doug saying that it, the whole scene was going to be about the baby reaching out for the mother. Mm -hmm. Right. But just she, you know, he didn't really say that she just doesn't want to be touched by him, but that she can't, you know. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's full of these spines. When you were, you know, holding the face in the hand or the money, could you feel anything to, could it make you feel uh, anything? It does in, there's something like mm, E.T.-ish about it, you know. <laughs> you know yeah. You know, yeah. There's sort there's of in large eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, and it was the only area I could touch, which is probably why I kept holding the face. Mm -hmm. right. right. But still, I mean, um, it's really weird. It does look a little more romantic like you said there's something else going on yeah interesting she's trying to think it, it's like it's very oedipus isn't it, or something she, i was gonna say she's yeah. a weird lady yeah. yeah yeah well i think she was pulling every string to keep that monster on track with her agenda <laughs> no yeah. seriously yeah. i totally yeah, do yeah. <laughs> and if we it just occurred to me the birth of hope you know born in a day all of a sudden age three <laughs> age 12 and she doesn't have any family relationship to relate to she doesn't know how to be a mother right oh. <laughs> well there you go <laughs> yeah. 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 It's he's getting fun. sadder by the minute yeah. <laughs> and wasn't that, was that actor fantastic inside that yes. yeah and then you said the um the sounds afterwards uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all great job. credit that to really those made it post alive. guys with that that sound that yeah. was not quite human, uh -huh. and yet you understood exactly what True. that monster was saying. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're um, going on to the scene where uh, Zena, Gabrielle, and Jocks are all the farthest running around after each other. Yeah. Yes. Where did that scene come from? That uh, I all I wanted to do was rip off Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> which is like one of my favorite films ever and I've always been fascinated by the filmmaking in the sequence where you're with the FBI going on the on the raid and they're outside of a house and ringing the doorbell and you hear the doorbell ringing in your serial killer you know in Buffalo Bill's lair and so you you assume it's I thought it was a great example of how the language of film tells you to put those two that interior that exterior with the interior, right, yeah. and then he opens the door, and you discover it was it's a different it's, house. Yeah, a different yeah. house, and it's Jodie Foster. So then I thought, okay, you know, we have Gabrielle's walking through the forest, Hope's walking through the forest. How do we use the fact that those two things will look the same right. to, uh, you know, make us think connect two scenes that aren't connected? So fun, and sad, <laughs> sadly, basically every show I'm on, I try to find a way to rip off that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Not the <to> lip part. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I did it on Hack, and you know, I was like, "Get that in here." It was hard on the OC, but you know. <laughs> 
So we're going to see a piece of the end of that scene. Um, you weren't in the first two episodes of season four, and they actually took your name off the credits. Mm -hmm. They were um, it was part of the, the trick. The fiendish, <laughs> the fiendish plan. <laughs> yeah. And now they had to ask you permission to do that? I don't remember, but I guess they did. I yeah, think so. I think they yeah. would have to have. Yeah. Yeah. But you still got paid. Well, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> now she's going to go home and go through those pay stubs. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 People have actually wondered about that. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And I was there. Yeah, I must have. I yeah. know I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're all talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wonder if an actor who is a regular on a show and doesn't appear, you get paid uh, if anyway. they get it's paid. The contract, yeah. Right? yeah, so many episodes yeah. a year. Yeah. Right. Lucy was talking. So Lucy was filming <coughs> Adventures in the Sin Trade. So this was, I guess, almost a three-week shoot for that. Even though it was two episodes, mm -hmm. I think it was over. Probably two, you know, seven and seven or nine and nine. And she's always talking about being lonely and just, you know horrible loss not having you there, <laughs> even though you were walking around with T.J. Scott. Only in the first episode. Well, oh. whatever he was, it wasn't like that actually, it was set up where he shot in Auckland and then they went to the mountains. Taupo, right? Yeah. yeah, and I, when he was there, I was, yeah, I was there, I was, but I still wasn't in the scene with her. I was on the outskirts watching, you know, so it's different. And you were probably wearing a lot of clothes and she oh, was yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally get together in the forest and... But the thing is, is we've been working together. That's not the first scene of this episode in the forest. Right. Right. You, yeah, but I don't, like Lucy I don't know didn't what order miss it. me and that... Do you know what I mean? She wasn't still missing me. We'd been working together. Oh, so all these... Well, let's see. Let's take a look <laughs> at the <laughs> Let's take a look at the scene. <laughs> that totally dismantles that question. With the hair clip. Oh, man. I don't remember much. I remember falling. Oh, I remember the fire and the rocks. I remember how he's so sweet. Screaming when she speaks. I just packed out then and I woke up in this hospice. Apparently, I'd been there for a long time and I, I sent word to you. I don't know how to tell you this. Just drop the bombs, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, geez. things are really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lying. Yeah, God. That was just so raw. Yeah. And and in the and in the I've seen the dailies of that. You guys were like bowling your eyes out of the two of you. What? Do you remember filming this? And I do. Yeah. I just. I mean, it's one of those few moments where Gary. There were a few of them, though. Yeah. Where, <laughs> where, yeah, I was like just going for it. And, I don't know. Kind of hoping that somebody would pull me back a little bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and and I think if Lucy or I go to something like that, you you can't help but sort of be pulled in, you know. That's interesting. Why would you hope they'd pull you back? You guys thought each other. You, she thought she was dead. You thought you were dead. I, looking back now, wish that somebody had pulled me back. <laughs> <laughs> but really? at, at the same time, time I didn't but, think but at about the same it. time, the contrast between the hope yeah, and right. Zena meet yeah, and the Gabrielle and Zena was yeah, I know it was I wanted, huge like, because of that. Of, uh, control, because mm -hmm. to me, hope is very controlled. Right. Yes. Exactly. Very yeah. measured. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. Gabrielle just wasn't, she was loose, which is why then it probably right. went. You know. <laughs> when, when we were, it's interesting because you know, when we were building this story, one of the big issues was okay, we have essentially two reunion scenes, right. and the first one has to be convincing, you know, and then, but then the second one has to give you something. It has to different. top that. It yeah, has to top and, and that. has to be an emotional. Right, and the two versions of what happened in that. <laughs> Don't go there. No, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> Someone stop her. <laughs> and, um, and that really was the, I remember that was the writing, and I remember trying to figure out, okay, you know, what is she trying to say in between, you know what I mean? Right. Because she has to ha know what happened mm -hmm. to her. Yeah. And, and then the only way to really do that, because not much is coming out, is that she's still stunned. Yeah. And then and to be stunned, you're still over emotionally, right. you're emotionally overwhelmed. And right. That's probably why it all went that way. Yeah. <laughs> when I sort of yeah. take it as it plays really <coughs> well for me that what happened to her is so 
horrible. Mm -hmm. She really can't yeah. talk about it. Not no. Yeah, which not is ever. it's what you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what, to this day I would never say what happened to Gabrielle. Well, that's, that's a good thing, Renee. A, not that we don't know. We all know. <laughs> that's what we all know. We know exactly what happened. No, I mean as a writer you just you know good actors can save you from anything because <laughs> there's nothing that we could write that would be I mean what could you write that yeah. would be a you know an interesting explanation of what it's like to be crushed in a lava pit. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's you just, you know, then it's okay, funny. Renee, handle it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And I, I think that the writing, you know, to me now it's so important to have, you know, you yeah. got to have the writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then I've tried to do other things where I didn't have a script. <laughs> it's like, oh, tricky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But these bare bones, and I remember Lucy, when she looked at that, she said, you know, and the you know, she just jumps into it. So, you know, there weren't a whole lot of learn lines for her. It, right. You were giving more of the description. And as she says, they were talking about the hair clip beforehand, and then she turns in. But when the two of you got together, um, it just all came. It just all, she, she was amazed at the impact that it had on her looking at it now. Mm -hmm. the, the difference from when doing it at the oh, time. Really? Yeah. Kissing the hand. Yeah. yeah, very sweet. Really yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very touching. Mm -hmm. really you can nice. see the love between them. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was all this emotion. Yeah. Right. Really, really nice. Yeah. Carried it. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> 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 We're taking a look at Hope here. Uh, we haven't seen much of her, but here's a glimpse of her and Gabrielle together. What is it now? This was harder. Four generations? Your parents, there's you, me, my pride, my joy, your grandson, mother, <sighs> the destroyer. Why aren't you dead? Well, it's certainly not for your lack of trying, is it? The truth is, I could say the same thing about you, if I cared, which I don't. I so, well sidestepped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why aren't you, Dad? It's always funny because I remember um, wanting her to still want to be the daughter mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. mother. Yeah. No, and that's really nice. It's yeah, a nice so activity she yeah, to convey that. She's playing with her. Yeah. Like she had to have the control in the scene, you know? She, like, right. she still wants. You gave, her. you gave her the control. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. She still wants Gabrielle for a mother. Is she jealous that Gabrielle loves Yeah, when Gabrielle says, Why aren't you dead? The only way to play it was, you know, very. S still it hurt, you know? Yeah. Had to, it was only probably the only time in the episode that she's actually affected by something. You, know. you started to say that was difficult to shoot. Well, it was difficult. Because with Ho uh, Gabrielle, <laughs> help was easier because I, I know I had the bed, I had the doll, and the doll really helped me get, she wants to be the daughter, you know, again, still trying, but angry. And then Ho Gabrielle would have just taken off and, or something. I felt so um, confined. So the only way to play that, I was to just feel like she was frozen yeah. and didn't know what to do and and was surprised and, you know, that was harder. And she would have taken off. <laughs> Although something. you did have your family in the other room, you know, and that's true. Right. that grounds you that's true. too. You want to stay there because true. she could turn around and just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember just that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, right. that's right. That's right. You're right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're gone. There's a powerful lady here. Hope and the destroyer had to bite the dust. Yes, they did. <laughs> we contemplated the spin-off. <laughs> Hope and the destroyer. Oh the variety show. On the road. Oh, oh, the she way. sings, he dances. Right. <laughs> but not he even walks close to anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's walking cross country. Yeah. How did you, uh, can you, do you remember any of the discussion about, I mean, there's a million ways to off somebody, a monster, what have you, and um, I want you to talk a little bit about before it, and then we'll take a look at the scene of how it played out. Trying to figure out how to, how to kill the monster. Right. How did you... Well, it always, you know, because there was the issue of, okay, you know, he loves his mother, 
who happens to look just like Gabrielle, who he hates, you know, that we always knew there had to be an element of right. identity confusion. Yeah. And then once we had the idea of, you know, that the destroyer has these spikes and can never, you know, hug his mother, there was something just so just called out for their sort of tragic, last yeah. uh, oh. tragic, mm -hmm. you know, death kind of, you know, that he finally gets to be able to do what he wants, but in doing so he kills his mother and, yeah. um, you know, it's bad for the everyone. final <laughs> embrace. Yeah. 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 And it, I think it helped that, again, Xena wasn't supposed to be able to kill Hope, so to maneuver the destroyer into right. killing Hope um, relieves yeah. that curse, the fates, cutting all of that. Um, very clever, that Zena. She is. She is. <laughs> 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 oh, Zena thought of everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, just, right. she's just sitting around concocting these <laughs> ideas and <laughs> how to get out of the room. Yeah. She's just I brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at it, how it played out. I'm going to grow. Right. So at that moment, the destroyer thinks he's stabbing Gabrielle. Right. Mm -hmm. Back and realizes, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's so sad. It's hard, Randy. It is. It is. <laughs> Did you have any idea that a big r guy in a rubber suit and Renee <laughs> could just turn that into something so? Uh, well, that was yeah. It was that was the thing of the Fingers okay, crossed. you know, this is what we're trying for. Can we pull it off? This could go so wrong. It could be completely cheesy. It could be, but but it yeah. played. And and Doug was always watching the character of the creature, you know, yeah. making sure that his personality was coming through. And you could see the coverage. I mm -hmm. mean, it's all his reactions to right. everything. Right, right. So that's Yeah, that's good. that was really yeah, nice. Work. Nice yeah. work from the director. Yeah, and credit to the, you know, I mean, KMB did a great job of giving us oh, a feature yeah. with a creature with that much facial expression. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because if you don't have that, you know, then that doesn't work. Yeah, uh -huh. and kudos to the sound people. Again, that's they right. made, yeah. made you understand what was in his heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the scene actually goes on for quite some time. And then, So was he making any noises in there? I mean, no. No. You're just, just dying, you know. <laughs> hot. Really, really hot. No, he, he was really That's sweet. He, he didn't complain at all. But Was um, he a it local? Was awkward. Was no, he, I think he was brought in. Was he oh, brought yeah. in? Hmm. He was great. Yeah. He was great. He was American, that's right. You have Gabrielle killing her daughter for the second time. So, even though Hope's the Devil's Spawn, right. what on earth is this doing to Gabrielle? <laughs> well, I think you see at the end. Yeah. That's when you understand that she's really lost. She's, she's come back to life. All of this tragedy has unfolded partially, or a large part of it, due to her. This is a person who's got to take some time to deal, you yeah, know, and yeah. to find her way. Yeah, and that's when she chooses the way of peace mm -hmm. eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what that is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as monstrous but, as her family mm -hmm. was, yeah. they were still her family, you know? Right. I do think there's an element there of Gabrielle that this is the only way it could be. You yes. Know, that this is, there was no other choice, and something mm -hmm. about that... Um, the end of this episode was her acceptance of, you know, it's over, that is truly over, but you're right, that loss and grief is still there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at it. Do you, ever, <clears throat> do you get the feeling that sometimes nothing is really over, you know, it just keeps coming back around, but it's, it's wearing a different face, it's, it's the same underneath. Do you know what I mean? Sure. I was trapped in a cycle of violence and hatred. And no matter how I tried to break free, something always pulled me back. Until you. See, now it's true. You talk about trying to find your way, but to me, you are my way. How Great can one. I be your way when I... I lost myself. 
I'm searching for answers to them. Let's yeah. go to India. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, only one way to solve this road trip. <laughs> you know what? Let's not talk for a while. I go on the horse, you walk. <laughs> and I was puzzled. Zena actually looked quite shy. Well, where was Zena at, for you guys at this point? And no, I think it was the emotion. I don't yeah. think that character uh, ever found it easy to express emotion, especially yeah. this you movie series. You are my series. way. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard for her to admit that she relies on anyone, mm -hmm. even though, you know, she does. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There was only one question that came out of this episode. Was there any the question. talk <laughs> at the time about explaining how Gabrielle got out of the lava pit? God so. damn it, Are you going to kill her? I, I think I, I will. Go. Go. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> it. <laughs> I finally asked one question too many. <laughs> My agent promised me that wouldn't be asked. <laughs> promised me! Whatever! <laughs> well, I want to... Thank you, girls, for coming. <laughs> I'm glad I lived through this first session. Your neck. And, uh, <laughs> maybe we can do it again. <laughs> I'm game. What about right. you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just see the chiropractor there. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just have a little neck adjustment. But, um, so, what'd you think? Did it? Did you enjoy this? Yeah, yeah. Did you have a good time with this? It's fun. Chatty Yeah, that's right. It's fun to hear the different sides of it all. Yeah. I'm really interesting. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, because I mean it is amazing. It's like you know we worked on this on this thing for so long, and you know Chris and I were together. But you know it's like I you know. were on the other side of the world. I actually, I, I have a question for you. When when mother and child were dying, you you didn't cry. Was that a choice for Gabrielle that she wasn't moved to tears? Yes. Yeah, I think that's where um, she knew it had to. It just had to be this way. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know how else to say it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But basically, there was. It was just about resolution, you know. Yeah. yeah. So no tears to no. shed, just mm -hmm. and resignation. I remember it, to me, it's, there's something I remember about maybe um, still sort of stunned, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I think the shock of it all still, like you said, it's sort of residual, and then she does feel lost, right? And she yeah. verbalizes and it leads it right end. into it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't that initial shock of when she had to to um, poison hope the first time, yeah. Where it was just just killed her. There wasn't that at mm -hmm. this time because she knew Hope had to die. And this yeah. beast had to die. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, the destroyer. There was. There's no rehab uh, program. <laughs> <laughs> For the spawn of the devil. <laughs> destroyer. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Thanks. He's dragging by his feet. He's on the soil. You know. Right. Right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. What a use for your grandson. <laughs> <laughs> Use him as a tiller. Right? Yeah. That's all oh, I can think of. Yeah. Thank you so well, much. Well, I think it turned out well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nice little groups of these people. And I know Liz wants to get on Rob's case. Absolutely. She oh. keeps emailing, you know, and I'm going to get to go on with Rob, right? And I'm going to get to do one with Rob. <laughs> right? you know, what I'd love to do is the one um, Helicon and back. Because mm. I know I just destroyed your script. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Did. I would love it. Really? Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah. I would love to talk about that. I would love to lost her patent speech. It kills me to this I day. I know. Oh. Yeah, let's do Because okay. I'd love to go back and, and look at why...